Let's do a little savings showdown between T-bills and CDs. These are two of the most popular savings vehicles for those looking for a safe and reliable way to grow their savings. Now, a few months ago, I made a video talking about why you should avoid CDs. At that time, I thought it was clear that T-bills were better in just about every way. But things have changed and it's much closer between the two now. So let's break these down and look at which one might be better for you. My name is Scott Caulfield. I am a CPA and a CFA charter holder, and I am the founder of Sophos Wealth Management. So the first thing that's probably most important to most of you is going to be the yield. Currently, CDs actually yield more than a comparable treasury bill. That was not the case a few months ago, and it's, it's only true for the highest yielding CDs. So if you go look at like an Investopedia and you look at the very highest yielding CD products currently, you're going to find that they actually yield more than comparable treasuries. So as of September 22nd, uh, you're talking about, you know, on average about 15, 20 basis points, sometimes more on these longer dated um, maturities. It is important to note, though, that the average CD the yield is vastly lower than either T-bills or the highest CDs. And that's because you're going to find a lot of major banks, they can get away with offering just paltry CD yields. So if you want to make sure you're getting the highest yield, you need to shop around and look for CDs that do yield more than a comparable treasury. But the winner here is currently CDs. Now, safety. U.S. government bonds are often considered the safest asset in the world. They are kind of considered that risk-free rate in finance. So it's about as safe as you could find. Uh, fortunately, though, CDs have FDIC insurance. So as long as you're under the FDIC limit, which is about 250K, and sometimes you can bump it up by adding beneficiaries and spouses on it. As long as you're under the FDIC limit, though, you're you know right on par in safety with treasuries. So... As long as you're under those limits, this is a tie. If you're over the FDIC limit, no question, U.S. Treasuries are safer. If you're over the limit, you become an unsecured creditor of the bank, um, not a position you really want to be in. You know, we've seen bank failures this year, uh, but most people are smart enough to avoid that. Uh, now, taxes. This is where treasuries are a clear winner. Treasuries are exempt from state and local taxes, state and local income taxes. Meanwhile, CDs, you will pay income taxes um, on your state and local level, and both are going to pay on the federal level. So unless you are exempt from state and local taxes, T-bills are a clear winner here. And for most high income people, that's going to push their tax, their after tax yield quite a bit higher on T-bills than it will for CDs. Uh, lastly is liquidity. So treasuries are one of the most liquid assets in the world easily bought and sold. You can sell any time without penalty. Most CDs, uh, well, first of all, even for brokered CDs that have secondary markets, it's a much smaller and less active market than treasuries. However, most CDs, um, you are going to pay a penalty or of lost interest for selling before maturity. Uh, now, again, not the case for brokered CDs, but in general, treasuries have better liquidity um, I would probably only go into a CD if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're going to hold into maturity. So for this one, winner for me is T-Bells. Um, so who wins the ultimate savings showdown? Uh, not to give a cop out, but it depends. If I think for most people, it is going to be T-Bells. Uh, if you... You know, if you have to pay state and local taxes, no question, T-bills. If you're over FDIC limits, no question, T-bills. Um, you don't have to shop around. If you go to treasurydirect.gov, you're going to buy an on-the-run treasury T-bill. You're going to get the best rate, um, right on par with all the big Wall Street banks. Um, pretty simple. However, there are some that are going to be better off with CDs. So if if you're willing to do your research and you're going to find a CD that yields more than a comparable T-bill, if you're under the FDIC limits, if you're positive that you will not need to access your money before it matures, and you're exempt from state and local taxes, then a CD is actually going to be better for you today. Um, so it's, it's not nearly as clear to me as it was, say, three months ago when I thought everybody should be in T-bills. Now there are some people that might be better in CDs. Uh, anyways, feel free to visit our website to learn more information. Uh, and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.